Hey everybody, it's time for everybody's favorite weekly preview of new comic book day at Green Brain Comics. Hi. Hi everybody, welcome back to this week's <laughs> welcome back to this week's episode of Stream Brain Comics. We're coming at you live from Green Brain Comics on Tuesday, March 6th, 2018, and we're gonna give you a sneak preview of all the new comics that are hitting the shelves tomorrow, Wednesday, March 7th, 2018. Let's get ready to look at some new comics! Woo! As usual, I'm Shay. Oh, uh, let me introduce us, or <laughs> let us introduce ourselves. I am your host, Katie. And I'm Shay. And we also are going to be getting some help from our friendly, friendly cameraman, Dan. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hand. Mr. Hand. Mr. Hand likes to chime in his, uh, his two cents. Hey guys, let's show everybody some new comics. New comics! New comics. Yay. We have Assassinistas, number three. The Ballad of Sing, number one. That looks like a really cool book. It kind of reminds me of Deadly Class in a way. So I'm definitely going to check that one out. Two swell covers? Yeah, Ooh. it's got a lot in common with Deadly Class. Looks nice. We also have Bloodshot Salvation, number seven. Ooh. Deja Thoris, number two. Deuce of Hearts, number two of five. East of West, number 36. We got a special wraparound cover, which is the theme Ooh. for image variant covers this week. Ooh, look how that's so cool. That's awesome. Robot dog. <laughs> Extremity, number 12. The final issue. The final issue and the wraparounds. Wow. Cool. What a great book. Beautiful. Oh, someone's watching. Oh. Toriano. Oh, Toriano Pew. Hello. Hello, Toriano. Thanks <laughs> I for know, watching. I know that guy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Fighting American, number one. The Fix, number 11. The Hooray. Fix is back. Yay. The Fix is back with pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein, Alive, Alive, number four. This is the final issue, and I just want to say that uh, wouldn't have been possible if, if not for the excellent efforts of Kelly Jones finishing up Bernie Wrightson's final comics. Galacticon number five. Gideon Falls, a Jeff Lemire book. This is new. And another cool cover. Nice. Most excellent. Nice. I like how this, this map of this land looks like a head. Yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. Good atmospheric horror from Jeff Lemire. I'll be checking and that out. Andrea this. Sorrentino. Awesome. Yes. The Grave Diggers Union, number five. A book that I like. Green Hornet, number one. I Hate Fairyland, number 17. Can I show off this cover? Mm, it's kind of gross, but let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. I love this cover. It's so great. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Incognito Renaissance, number two. Jughead, number four. Koshe the Deathless, Kosher. number three of six. Monstro Mechanica, number four. And... On our top shelf, we have... Ooh, Firebug. That is a really pretty book. From the artist of Angel Catbird, and from the pages of the Island Anthology. Ooh. It's beautiful. I love it already. Ooh, very nice. There, but very pretty. Kind of glary. Awesome. Also, the highest house. It's number big. one. Look how big this book is. It's so pretty, though. All from the creative team of the Unwritten, reunited over at IDW. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Mike Carey. Oh, I'll be showing that one off later, too. <laughs> and stay tuned. Really cool covers by Yuko Shimizo. New Heavy Metal, Ooh. edited by Grant Morrison. Sci-fi special. It's your one-way ticket to midnight. That's kind of still creepy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oblivion Song, a Robert Kirkman book. He's got a new number one, guys. Hey, and if you're interested in this book, don't wait, because this is the only printing they're going to be doing of this single issue. They've got lots in print, but if it sells out, that's it. It's gone. You'll have to wait for the trade. Oh. 
The October Faction, Supernatural Dreams, number one. Prism Stalker. Now this looks like something I would like. Look how pretty it is. We're gonna take a sneak peek on the inside. Ooh, pretty. So colorful. I love colors. <laughs> Rasputin, the voice of the dragon, number five of five. Rick and Morty presents the Vindicators. <laughs> nice. Also featuring a special guest appearance by Pickle Rick. Pickle, oh, Pickle Rick. Rick. He's my favorite Rick. <laughs> Savage Dragon, number 232. Scales and Scoundrels, number 7. As well as The Spider King. See, told you we'd get there. <laughs> number 1. Oh, I read the first issue. It's pretty awesome. It's Good barbaric action. Ooh. We have Strangers in Paradise, number 2. The Tick, number 3. Look, we finally got a number 3. Yay. <laughs> we have... Walking Dead 177, and if you haven't had enough Walking Dead, well, guess what, guys? We have volume 29 of The Walking Dead. Featuring the debut of the princess. Ooh. I did just want to show off this really sweet governor cover. Ooh, that is yeah. pretty. That's really nice. Is it right, bro? Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but it is really nice. <laughs> and last but not least, we have The Wicked and the Divine, number 34. Also with a couple different covers. Ooh, let's check them out. Ooh, I like that uh, one. Daniel Warren Johnson of Extremity fame. Very cool. Ooh, Is I that like the that one. That's the wraparound. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's really nice. I like Very that. Cool. That's cool. Pretty. Awesome. So well, much pretty. That's all the Action Adventure Small Press, but we've got another three quarters of the store to show off. Oh, yeah. All right, moving on <laughs> to the indie graphic novels. Exo! By the writer of the Meta Baron. What? And new James <gasps> Kochalka, the Mecha Boys! Oh, wow. Yes! Hey, if you miss James Kochalka swearing, <laughs> he's come back, folks. Yeah. Swearing's back in the house. Back in the house! Hey, it's, it's my pick of the week. <gasps> Mud bite. Of course it is. By Dave Cooper. Beautiful Dave Cooper. Featuring the adventures of Eddie Table. It's interesting. Eleanor Davis's Why Art. Why Art? Hmm. Eleanor Davis is pretty great. And I'll get the top half. Of oh, ah. Milo Manera's Gulavera. Gulavera. Mature content. Mature content. Not for the kids. It is Milo Manera after all, kids, <laughs> folks. No kids. No, no kids allowed. <laughs> Grown ups only. Over on the art shelf, we have Juxtapose Magazine. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. And bringing it around to the classics and reprints, we got Blazing <laughs> Combat. <laughs> Talk really loud over the phone. <laughs> Ringing. And that is it over on the classic shelf. So, as we move on over to the, excuse the distraction, folks, I got an idea. This way. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let you guys know what's coming out as far as our events. Coming up just later this week, we have our in-store signing with Jay Fosgett debuting his new Bodie Troll trade paperback. And me as well. And Shay as well. <laughs> I'll be showcasing my original art and digital print, so come by. Yay. Uh, Jay will, they will both start signing at noon, and then Jay's going to do a How to Draw Bodhi Troll workshop at 1. Ooh. And then for this special event, we will be bumping up our open gaming to 2. Mm -hmm. So you can either spend all day at Green Brain Comics enjoying all these great events, or come to one, come to the other, come to both. It's going to be a great time all day. Yay. Open Gaming will be from 2 to 5. Fun, fun. Super fun day. Also, later this month. What month is this? It's March. It's March. <laughs> it's March. Um, don't forget about our Big Read event happening on March tw Saturday, March 24th from 2 to 4. We are going to be having a discussion about the history of immigration in comics Ooh. and led by Rich Rubenfeld. But we also have a whole panel of excellent guests coming in that day. So uh, be sure to check out all of our great events on 
the Facebook. The Facebook. The, the Facebook. Book of Faces. Because <laughs> the next day, on Sunday, March 25th, we're going to be having a special anniversary party celebrating what? <gasps> This my lady. anniversary of twenty of thirty years. <laughs> oh, thirty years. Thirty years in comics. It was thirty years ago this month that I was hired in at the comic book store. So I will be celebrating my thirtieth anniversary of selling comics to you, great comic fans. Thank you so much for all your support for thirty years. Thirty years in the business. Yay! Just wow. <laughs> hey, and just in time, Dimitri just signed on. Hey, Dimitri, hey, thanks Dimitri. for tuning in. All right, coming on over to the DC shelf. We have Bane Conquest, number 10 of 12. Batman, number 42. Shadow and the Batman, 6 of 6. <laughs> Batman, White Knight, number 6 of 8. <laughs> but you didn't say Batman. I know. How about Batman by Neil Adams? <laughs> and Batman and Harley Quinn. <laughs> Hardcover. We also have... Batman, the world's finest, and <laughs> Superman, the Silver Age, Volume 2. Black Lightning, Cold Dead Hands, number 5 of 6. Deathstroke, number 29. I work alone, he says. <laughs> Green Arrow, number 38. I do have to say, this is the final chapter of the story that was started by writer Ben Percy at the very beginning of the series with Green Arrow Rebirth. Now it's essentially 39 parts of this big giant arc. Pretty epic, and uh, congrats to Ben Percy for pulling it off. Wow. But also, to commemorate the end of it, look at this beautiful Mike Grell cover. Oh, that's really nice. Eddie Alicia just, pi just piped in with, uh, my son is looking for the new Dogman. Do you have it? We yes, have yeah. all Dogman volumes in dog stock, I believe. Dog mans, yes. All dogmans. Dogmen. Dogman. Dogman. Dog Dogman. Dog Dogsmen. <laughs> Dogman. Dogs <laughs> Green Lanterns, number 42. Harley Quinn, number 39. And a variant. Check it out. I just want to point out how uh, nice this Frank Cho cover is with Harley in her original costume. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> Throwback. Throwback. Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica, number 606. Injustice 2, number 21. Justice League, number 40. Justice League of America, volume 3. On our top shelf, we have more Justice League of America, Power and Glory. And... <gasps> Brand new, Shade the Changing Woman, number Whoa. 1, from DC's Young Animal. I can't wait to read this. this. This Shade series has been so much fun. And if you read the Milk Wars crossover, which what I, I didn't realize was going to be so pivotal in the launch of the, all the new young animal titles and you're going to be really excited to jump on with this new series it kicks off basically all the character changes that happen in all the young animal stories so oh, i'm really I'm excited reasons. we also have nightwing number 40 super sons volume 2 reber superman 42 that's a cool cover creepy Let's see what the Ooh. cover b looks like Ooh. Oh, it's a kind oh, of, it's, like the it's the American Gothic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Wild Storm, number 12. The Jetsons, number 5 of 6. And Exit Stage Left, The Snagglepuss Chronicles, number 3 of 6. This series has been crazy popular. I've oh. been impressed. Well, a lot of sales. Haven't been able to get number 2 back in stock, in fact. I love pink cats. <laughs> Isn't it written by the writer of the Flintstones comic that was Yeah, popular? Mark Russell, yeah. Oh. Over here on the Marvel shelf, we have Marvel Studios Ant-Man and the Wasp Prelude. If you're getting excited for this movie, you'll want to pick up that prelude. Mm -hmm. Avengers number 683, No Surrender, Part 9. Avengers and the Infinity Gauntlet. Trade paperback? Yeah, this collects what? a miniseries that came out a few years ago by um, uh, Brian Clevenger and uh, Brian Chirillo doing the art. It was pretty fun. Awesome. Black Bolt number 11, written by local Saladin Ahmed. Rise of the Black Panther, number 3 of 6. Captain America, number 699. Whoa. Only one episode. Issue until number 700. One episode. <laughs> one, episode. one more episode. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, Doctor Strange, Damnation, number two of four. 
Infinity Countdown number one of five. It's the Infinity Countdown. <laughs> do, 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 do. Legion number two of five. Whoa. Yeah, we got shorted on this book last week, but we got it back in. Hooray. Yay. Rogue and Gambit, three of five. The Century trade paperback from Paul Jenkins and Jay Lee. Uh, this I is a Jay new Lee. printing, and they just actually announced that uh, Jeff Lemire is coming back to Marvel to write a new Century series. Oh, wow. Oh. Nice. Interesting. What news? She Hulk what news? number one sixty three. Amazing Spider Man number seven ninety seven. Whoa, so close to eight hundred. Go down swinging part one. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, that's nice. All kinds of different covers. Spider Man number two thirty eight. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Miles so, Morales, so Spider-Man. Don't get confused by the constant name changing it here. It doesn't <laughs> say it on the cover, though. Yeah, well. But there he is. There he is. I found him. Where's Waldo? <laughs> uh, Venom, number 163. X-Men Gold, number 23. And X-Men Red, number 2? Yes. And a new printing of number 1 as well. Ah! Ooh. Right. Yeah. X-Men Red number one and X-Men Red number two. And on the top shelf, we got some True Believers, which are reprints of classic number one issues, Venom Symbiosis and Venom vs. Spider-Man from Spider-Man issue number 300. I remember this one. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. That's a different number 300. <laughs> <laughs> Over on the Star Wars shelf, we got Star Wars number 44. That's a pretty great cover. It is. Awesome. Pretty great. And we've got more books for your teens and young adults. We have Dodge <laughs> City number one. I really like the cover on this. This is definitely something that I would read, and I'm going to check it out and get back to you guys and tell you how much I love it, because I already know. <laughs> Giant Days number 36. Jim and the Holograms, number four, Dimensions. As well as Met Cadet U, another one of my favorites, number seven. Lots of fun if you like giant monsters. Giant you're doing robots. yourself a disservice if you're not reading this book. <laughs> we also have Star Trek Boldly Go, number 17. And on our top shelf, we have Monsters Beware, volume three. Continue By reading. Rafael Rosado and Jorge Aguirre. This is a great series featuring the Chronicles of Colette. It's a pug on the cover. So Continuing cute. from the previous volumes of Dragons Beware uh -huh. and... Giants? Giants! Dragon, <laughs> dragons. Dragons and giants. Right? Dragons and giants. <laughs> we also have Musne, the mouse of Monet. You know what? I think this book is really cute looking, so we're going to take a look. Oh, look, there's cats. Of course. The mortal enemy of the mouse. I like it. Aw, cute. <laughs> we also have Over the Wall by Peter Wartman. Uh, both of these last two books have been out for a little while, but this is the first time that we've had them in stock. We just got them in from a new distributor that we're working with. We also have Splatoon Volume 2, Volume 1, of course, as well. Back in stock. Yeah, Splatoon is a lot of fun. You're a kid, you're a squid. <laughs> you're what? You're a kid squid. Kid, kid squid. squid. <laughs> Over on the All Ages shelf, we have Bart Simpson Bust Up, which is a Simpsons collected volume. Mm -hmm. Skylanders. One shot. Yes. Spyro and friends are, are biting back. Let's just jump to the bottom here. And this was our All Ages Pick of the Week in the newsletter, The Dragon Slayer Folk Tales from Latin America by Jaime Hernandez. Oh. Hooray! I'm really excited about this book. Another really awesome book from Toon Books or Toon Graphics. Ah. Jaime Hernandez of, of course, Love and Rockets fame. Also, Sonic and the Tales of Decepticon, or Deception, whoops, Deception. wrong book. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, we were in Transformers land. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and checking out our sneak preview video. I just want to remind everyone to uh, let us know if there's anything that you're interested in. 
uh, before tomorrow, well, not before tomorrow. I guess you can let us know before tomorrow if you let us know via um, the interwebs. Uh, you can always reach us by email, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all of those great electronic methods. Otherwise, give us a call tomorrow. Um, be sure to like, comment, and share this video so that it shows up in your feed. Um, if you want to see our past videos, they are all archived on our YouTube channel. Just search for Green Bray Comics on YouTube. And be sure to click the little bell for notifications and it will let you know when we post a new video. We'll notify you. <laughs> Thanks again everybody for chiming in, liking and loving these posts. Aww. We love you. We have all of our friends, all of our loyal fans. See everybody tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. Bye. Happy Wednesday.